Well, hello you. I'm Brooks Oliver, and welcome to my studio, or as I like to call it, Organized Chaos, especially after the past two weeks of glazing. Um, but I've been getting ready for the Dallas Pottery Invitational, and I wanted to show you a couple of things that I've been working on. I've um, been unloading some kilns recently. I have a couple more to unload, but I'm really excited about uh, a couple new things that I've been working on. So let me just turn this right around is apparently harder than you'd think oh my gosh like okay well that is painfully embarrassing apparently you can't do that with iPhone um, so uh, we've edited this next part in um, but these are some bowls that I've been working on that I'm really excited I, I got back on the wheel to make these most of my work is normally slip cast um, but these forms use rare earth oxide um, and so there are these beautiful translucent colors with holium and neodymium and then praesidium, I believe is how you say some of them. But um, Nick Waddell helped me with uh, uh, developing a lot of these glazes. Thank you, Nick. Um, but what's so cool about them is they actually change colors in different colored lights. So right now they're in an artificial light um, under some fluorescent lights. But if I take them over to a, um, like a, a natural quote unquote natural light or actually in the natural like sunlight, it actually goes this beautiful green and like this deep, deep translucent purple. It's just um really, really fun. And then let's see, so that's holium and neodymium. And then we have this beautiful pink with like these, you know, luscious drippy drips on them that just God, I, that just never gets old for me, um, taking them and just putting them in a different colored light. It's just like such, such an instant shift of color. Just, yeah. And the camera doesn't really do it justice, but anywho, so these are some, some fun bowls that I've been working on, um, you know, both like little munchy bowls and then some some bigger ones for, I don't know, your cereal porridge, if people eat porridge still, um, whatever it might be. Um, and then um, over here, I've put out some other some other pieces. Um, you know, I always have fun uh, with the titling of my form. So like these over here, these are power stances. They're kind of based off of a, a stance that I, I strike oftentimes when, um, you know, probably in critique with my students. Um, I've been working with this new adventuring glaze that has like all this amazing sparkle sparkleness to it. This beautiful spodumene blue. I call these colons. This one's called vase, like an exclamation mark. Um, these, um, I call these uh, Becky with the good hair because you know, they're pretty basic. And then we have Becky with the good hair covered in oil. Um, and then, I, oh, I've been making these these uh, newer forms with these crawl glazes on them, um, which I just think are spectacular. Um, I called this one, um, I think like foamy ocean, and this is starburst. It's just, ooh, that surface is just everything. And then like alien brains, arctic velvet, red velvet, uh, I think the, this one's, what is it, uh, milk and honey. Um, and then back here we have some of these like tumblers. I call them tumblers because I have huge hands, but like they also work as small vases. Um, I think I call these uh, black and white and red all over. Um, and you know, I've just been playing with some, some new patterning. So the black is actually the glaze and then the red is the underglaze under it. Um, over here we have one of my newer, bigger forms that I call bow tie. Um, and then, you know, I recently discovered Mother of Pearl Luster, and I just think it's the coolest thing ever. As like an undergrad, I swore never to use it, and now I'm just going through it so, so, so fast. Um, yeah, let's see, is there, uh, oh, and then this, this little form over here, I call this leg, legs for days. Um, oddly enough, it is uh, based on a 3D scan of my legs, especially my calves, that then I had the computer interpret and turn it into a form, which I know is kind of crazy and weird and I can't believe I'm talking about it. But anywho, so that, that's a couple of the things I've been working on. Um, I'll post some other videos here shortly of um, how I go about glazing these, these you know, luscious, 
um, crawl pieces. So thanks and definitely um, look forward to seeing you guys at the virtual DPI this year.